Good afternoon. As the Northern Ireland Executive meets to discuss more changes to the lockdown, we have a further reopening of some parts of the economy today. The housing market is restarting and passenger flights at Belfast International Airport are resuming. Our business correspondent Clodagh Rice has the details. This is one of the first flights to take off from Belfast since March. Normally, this airport would see 22,000 passengers a day in June. Today, EasyJet passenger flights started back, but at a reduced capacity, with only seven today. £60,000 a day we've been burning. I might as well put that cash on the ground and put a match to it every day. But we've kept open. We've kept the cargo flights, the military and the police and uh, medical flights operating. Um, we believe we've done the right thing. Hopefully, the passenger flights will come back as soon as possible. It's, 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 it means we are going to be burning more cash. But ultimately, we have to do that to get ourselves started, to get confidence coming back. The experience will feel very different with screens at check-in desks. Everyone is required to wear a face mask and all shops and restaurants will remain closed. Travelling by ferry will also feel different with perspex screens, reduced seating and face masks on board. Ferries have been running at a reduced timetable for freight and essential travel. Steneline says it's yet to receive any government support. Northern Ireland relies on the ferry services bringing food in and even the essential travellers going back and forth. I mean, the whole country won't function if we don't sail back and forth. We have reduced the number of sailings. It's normally 138 sailings a week. We're down to 110 sailings a week. We used to have seven ships in Belfast. We've now got six. The funding just hasn't materialised. The model that we're working with is quite difficult, you know, so it, it has been challenging. All of these seating areas have been measured two metres apart. That means that a vessel like this that would normally have 700 passengers will now hold about 280. And that will have huge implications for the profitability of ferries going forward, even when it is safe for people to travel again. Clodagh Rice, BBC Newsline at Belfast Harbour.